All right. Hi, my name's Mark Oskowitz from Tri-Gable Farm. We've got a, um, a young peach tree here. My memory's kind of failing me here. I, I think that this was planted two years ago. And so that, that would make this the, the, the winter after the, the second years of growth. It was likely a two-year-old tree. Altogether, it's about four years old or so. Might be five. Um, so, so after, you know, the first year pruning is no big deal. You're trying to encourage some, um, some lateral growth, kind of stop the head from growing on these peach trees. So peaches have a, in general, have a shorter lifespan because, well, they're, they're just such vigorous growers. And, and so um, they're also heavy producers. And, and what ends up happening a lot of times is uh, if you're not, if you're not kind of on top of the pruning, by the time it fruits, after maybe it's, uh, let's see, third or fourth year planted in the ground at your house, um, it's, it's one of those things where it can get so heavy uh, with fruit that you start losing limbs. And I've definitely had that happen with some of the other, the older peaches here on the property. I've learned from mistakes with that. So what am I really going for here? Um, I'm, I, this one is, is, has a nice structure to it. You can see that this one's a pretty easy one to get in and, uh, and climb in and pick peaches. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm going for that open vase structure. So with this, I'll keep the camera low. I've got two tools that I'm going to be using for this. Um, all the limbs are pretty small, all the things that I'm going to be taking off. Most of them I'm going to be able to get with my with my hand pruners. Um, and every now and then I'm going to switch to a, a little handsaw, a little folding handsaw that I keep in my back pocket. Um, I like using this versus bigger loppers. In, in you know Down here on the ground, whenever possible, I like doing this because I can get a nice cleaner cut. Um, I think early on I just never had one of these. And so I didn't rely on it. So what am I going to be doing? Um, again, in these early years, you're going to see that like um, with these trees, I tend to do a lot of heavy pruning to encourage horizontal growth. And, and so what we're doing here is an open center pruning. Okay, so it's not like the, the pears of the apples where I have a, a central leader or, or modified central leader. Um, with this um, in here, I'm getting rid of anything in the center with um, in organic gardening with your stone fruits, your peaches, nectarines, plums, nectarine, uh, uh, um, even almonds and cherries, um, you tend to get a lot of fungal rot when you have, um, when you have moisture that's allowed to stay on the leaves. You know, think about every night it gets cold and, um, and, it, and moisture dew forms on on the fruit on the leaves and everything and in the early stages it's not that bad but once the fruit has some sugars on it that the fungi can really get in there um it becomes an issue so that's why we're that that's the reason why you'll see um the advice to do an open center or a vase shape um and so really what we're trying to do is get three or four main trunks um, that will that will continue to be and, and to have them kind of evenly spaced and everything. Ideally, we're also trying to avoid having um, steep angles like this. Like I I would favor the angle. You know, I would favor a more opened up angle than than a very acute angle. Both of these are acute angles, but the closer to a right angle that we can get, the better. You don't want to go past the right angle, you know, and get an obtuse angle. That's that's not going to result. So so something closer to, to closer to a right angle is going to result in a limb that will better support fruit in the future. Yeah, so I'm going to let this run. It's going to go a little long um, because I'm just going to go through it. And, and start pruning. So right away I'm seeing my three, my three um, limbs that I'm going to want to keep. I, I'm following up the trunk here 
and I'm seeing either this one or this one has good angles and is in this direction of the tree growth for the plant. I'm gonna favor this one here and, and continue growing. Actually, no, eh. no, I like the shape of this one because I like that I can cut that off and continue horizontal growth there. So that's gonna help me make my decision to get rid of this right here. They are overlapping limbs and thus uh, redundant. I also have my lawnmower that I drive by and everything. So by the time this gets to where the lawnmower is, I kind of want these all to, to tear up and out um, and be above, above the lawnmower. has a narrow crotch that's not going to support fruit it's also it, you know I've also made the decision to keep this one um, I'm going to make the decision to keep this trunk here and on this side to keep this one those are big decisions the rest of the stuff is gonna go this whole part that's growing into the center is gonna go That one's too low, too low for my lawnmower, so I'm making the choice to get rid of it. But by the time we get here, there we go. I don't want to damage the wood here, so I'm going to get use loppers for that one later. Choices here. Okay, and we're pretty much there. Now that's heavy pruning, okay? So I'm not really concerned about getting rid of things that are, uh, that could lower my yield of fruiting right now. Um, it's too early for that. Um, I am, you know, I'm looking at the overall structure and setting this up for success so that when it does bear hundreds of pounds of fruit, um, it'll be able to hold it. You know, and so you also see me make decisions about maybe going a little uh, more vertical here than I would normally do, but that's because of like my lawnmower and driving around. Um, and from past experience, knowing that there's going to be, here, I'll stand under this one. There's gonna be a like a vertical uh, limit, you know, or, or a vertical, vertical minimum that I'm gonna want to have so that I can pass and drive under here uh, with, my, with my rider mower. Yeah, so so we've got three three main um, 
I could have left four, but I, I, you know, I decided on three with this one. Three main future trunks. Uh, well, future limbs for this to support it. All right. Thanks.